that was dark too. Alright guys, hey, it's Amira Kalani. Welcome back to my channel. So on the last video, um, I was talking about my hair. So this is the Mongolian kinky hair, the icy hair, icy princess hair. Um, I've had it in now for a little over a week. Um, yeah, so I just got back from Costa Rica about two days ago. So I definitely, I feel like this hair is like wine. It gets better as it goes. I'm not gonna lie, when I first installed it, I was like, mm, it's giving Rick James, but I had to comb the hair out, use some good products, um, and just kind of like play with it a little bit till I got really the texture and everything that I was looking for. So I really wanted to show you how I got my install because like I said, I installed my own hair but I ran into some, some snafus, if you will, okay? So, snafu number one, y'all, all I had was blonde strain. Yeah, my blonde thread, that was it. And like, I had to really get it done, get it in, just because it was time to go and get to the airport, really, so I didn't have too much time left, you know, I still had class and different things like that, so I wasn't gonna go to the beauty supply store, it's not really close to my house, so I just used the blonde because I'm wearing it like this really and I don't really need to uh, have it up or anything like that. And if I do, a headband covers that perimeter up and it's fine. So it's okay, made it work. But I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna show me sewing it in with blonde strings because yeah, no bueno. Anyways, um, the other snafu, I really wanted to, you know, of course bleach my knots because that's what you do with your closures, with your frontals and all of that. But, all I had left was developer. I was just hitting home run after home run when it came to installing this hair. So, I looked up a video online just to see like, eh, what can you do with developer? And I know you can kind of dye hair with a developer, but um, I ended up having this, um, is it closure? Yeah, closure uh, from some hair that I wasn't gonna use. So I tried this little trick out on it. Didn't work, so I'm not even gonna tell you about it. So. You can't dye knots, bleach the knots with developer. It just is a no. So I said, you know what? It is what it is, right? And of course, because of how I'm wearing the hair, does it really matter? No. When I do it again, will I? Of course, because you know, I would like to be able to part and different things like that. Bangs kind of get on my nerves, but it's still a really cute look. And a little of my hair is out at the front here, so it's not that bad. Oh, you can see, you see my blonde string? Terrible though. Anyway, so yeah, bangs are kind of taking care of that other little issue that we ran into. But what I am gonna show you is my braid down pattern and how you can do that yourself. So I think that the best way when you're doing a sew-in to have your hair braided is in the beehive. And that might sound like, ah, how I'm gonna do that sis? I got you, it's really super easy and it's just, to me, it's the best way to do it because if you go and you do the straight backs, you're gonna have that weird little big flappy part in the back and I just don't like that. Or you're gonna have to worry about braiding hair into other pieces of hair or sewing it up and doing all of that nonsense and you just literally, you don't need to and it's super easy. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. And my trick with the bangs, I'm gonna show you me doing it. But basically, when you have your front, not your frontals, your closure, if you're gonna do bangs, turn that bad boy backwards. So put the back of the frontal here, front of the frontal closure here, because the hair is already falling in that direction. So then it's already natural for it when you flip it around backwards for it to come this way. And because of the links that I got, I really didn't need to um, cut anything. Now I did take uh, my little eyebrow razor thing and kind of just shave just a little bit of extra edges. And then some of the pieces here on the bang were just a little too long for my liking, but really that eight inch uh, closure works perfectly for the bangs and there's nothing you really need to do about that. So um, I'll put that in here at the end once I'm done, right in my mouth, you see. Um, so yeah, that's it really about the install um, and how I did it, how did I go? Of course, longer, shorter, shortest, and then I don't wrap, how do I wanna say this? So uh, my longest length, I didn't bring up on the sides. I went straight across on the back and left some room on the sides. 
and I did my middle length coming this way and then going across just so that that falls nicer and having it that way but I like to have my length in the back I don't want to have it up here because that's just going to make it shorter and I don't need all that I wanted to have my good length so you can see here I mean it just it looks like it's mine and I love it I love the texture I didn't really get a lot of shedding and that's what I'm going to talk to you about now is how you can minimize shedding and tangling with this kind of kinky curly hair um, because curly hair you're just naturally going to get some kind of shedding so don't let that scare you but how you can minimize that really is super easy the first thing that I'm going to recommend is going to be to use a weft sealer I'm going to place one up about here let's see if I can figure that out uh, yeah so anyways use a weft sealer I will place the link down below um, where you can go into Amazon and get the one that I use um, but that's just going to when it's still in that wrapped up section that's the best way to do it you just take the weft sealer let it sit seal the weft that's your first line of defense right um, and then whenever you are sewing I personally don't like to do the loop under um, like where you're not going through the weft with the needle and my reason for that especially with curly hair is that it's going to get tangled inside of that thread so it's just a lot easier to not get any extra tangles if you just boop, go through the weft there whenever you're sewing don't cut your tracks that's going to leave for fraying so you know do the best you can when it comes to not cutting your tracks I did have to cut my um, last one my last yeah I cut that one just because I didn't need all of it you know so I ended up cutting that but as much as you can fold that bad boy over and then the biggest thing too is going to be tie this hair up so while I was on vacation I got a little lazy not gonna lie because it was a vacation and I didn't want to do anything else so I didn't really wrap it up or detangle it you know uh, every night so when I came back I had a little bit of shedding um, but not really a lot I probably put a clip in there to show how much I got when I came back but the biggest thing is just going to be finger detangle that hair um, especially here because that's probably where you're gonna be getting the most mattedness but when you go to bed at night just do flip that hair in half and do two braids coming down the sides and that's gonna be good in the morning and it's also gonna look really good when you wake up that's like I didn't add anything other than product like I really didn't have to wet the hair anything more than the um, curling spray with the sweet peas and I'll show that as well um, and how I like styled my hair while I was on vacation I'll put a little clip in there on that but it's really low maintenance if you just do what you got to do don't let this hair sit um, after you detangle it if you don't want to do the braid then just make sure it's detangled and put it up in a high ponytail um, I did that last night and this morning I got in the shower wet hands finger detailed it and because I detangled it before I put it in the ponytail no need to bring the brush out or the comb out bam there you go but guys I really love this hair so far I'm definitely gonna leave it in I think I want to go and get some more just so I can like play with different colors but I totally 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 recommend the icy hair the Mongolian kinky hair it's just I mean it's amazing but look let me get a little closer <laughs> It's just so natural and the curls they just go so good you can use like foaming spray whatever it is that you personally like for the curls um yeah that's it guys so i hope you like this video stay tuned like comment subscribe ring the notification bell because i have some more videos coming for you 